I get a call from the surgeon who had done all the operations. And he said, I think you should come and see me. So I went and saw the surgeon. It was me, my dad, and my coach went and saw the surgeon. And uh, he basically said these three things to me. He said, your hamstring shot, your athletics career is over. You're never going to compete for your country again. My advice, go and get yourself a real job and give up this jogging. That's basically what he said to me. He referred to my athletics career as jogging. And as you can imagine, <laughs> that went down really well. And do you know what? If I'm honest with you, him telling me my hamstrings had it, no surprise there. Him telling me that my um, athletics career was obviously pretty much over, again, no surprises. The one thing that really bugged me and got under my skin was him telling me I'd never compete for my country again. I gave up athletics. I, 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 I quietly retired and uh, I had made the Commonwealth Games team for, for 94, surprisingly, because I hadn't done anything in 93. And I obviously pulled out. But I didn't want to be in the UK in 1994 in the summer because we had the Commonwealth Games and the European Championships. So I said, right, I'm going to go to the States. And I went to university in America, had lots of friends out there, and there was no world event, no worlds, no Olympics. So actually, the, the Americans had quite a, a, a low-key season for them. So I went and stayed with a couple of my friends, and I just trained the best I could. So I did lots of rehab work. I did loads of stuff in the gym. I did loads of stuff in the swimming pool. And the one thing that I found myself playing a lot of was basketball. At the end of the summer, I came back to England, September time. No idea what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. The one thing I said, I'm going to play some more basketball. So I lived in Northampton, where I still live now, and I joined a local basketball team in Northampton. So for the rest of the 94-95 season, I played local league basketball. So I played the 95-96 season for Birmingham Bullets. Halfway through that season, the coach left. I didn't know where he went until I got a letter from the English Basketball Association, early 96, saying, uh, and it was written, uh, it was signed by him, asking me to come and try out for an England team for a one-off international. England win. I only got on in the second half. We were 63 points in front before the coach let me on. So he knew I, you know, I wasn't even I wasn't going to mess this up. We go on, we win the game by goodness knows how many points. I got a few baskets, a few assists. I even got a couple of dunks in the game. A few weeks later, I get these photos. I open it up. As us sportsmen do, you find the best one, stick it in a frame, it goes in your office or the downstairs loo. They're the two places it goes. And I put this one in my office. And I put it in this frame, put it in the off, off, wall in the office, and it was up for about 30 seconds. No more. And I took it straight down. And I decided to dedicate it to someone who had been there for me and had all the faith in the world for me. So I took it out the frame, took out a magic marker, and I signed it to Dr. Cobb. Thank you for your confidence. Signed Derek Redman, international athlete and international basketball player. Kiss, kiss. Stuck it back in the frame and sent it to the same doctor who two years prior to that, or two and a bit years prior to that, told me I'd never compete for my country again. If you go back to that race in Barcelona, I finished last, but I finished. If you ask most people who won the Olympic final, most people won't know. If you ask who was that bloke that got up and finished his race, lots of people will remember that. Somebody asked me, what is your definition of success? And I said to me, getting up one more time than you've been knocked down. That's all you've got to do. Just get up one more time than you've been knocked down. I don't care if you've been knocked down 70 billion times.